Sea of Madness is the newest installment in the Bog Creature universe, with the first being Bogman, which we've already watched. They plan on tackling all sorts of cryptids, so kudos to them for that. As the title might suggest, it takes place out on the high seas, and the cryptid? A mermaid! Well, sort of. I'll try to keep this as spoiler free as I can, but the main gist is that there's a research vessel out in the open waters studying a bacteria found at the bottom of the ocean. There's an accident, the crew gets affected, and well, that's that. Elsewhere, we have Dr. Martin and his new research assistant, Deputy Thomas. Remember them from Bogman? They secure funding for their new show, go out to sea to celebrate a little bit, and stumble upon the research vessel. It all kind of reminds me a little bit of the movie Proteus, where they had drug smugglers finding an abandoned ship floating out in the ocean, only to discover its secrets. Well, just like Bogman, Sea of Madness is what I would have to consider low budget. However, you can tell they had more money to work with this time around. And it seems like, as a whole, everyone's finding their groove. The returning characters, mainly Dr. Martin and Deputy Thomas, did a good job, and they fell right back into their respective roles. However, some of the new actors and extras left a bit to be desired. There are a lot of cool transitions and camera angles that show improvements over Bogman. For example, the monster might be a little out of focus and blurry, however, it's effective at hiding the imperfections in the makeup. It's not always like that, that's just an example. You do get to see the creatures a lot in this movie, and for the most part, everything looks good for the budget. But that being said, there are some effects that look better than others. But you can tell they worked with what they got. And overall, the set, being on a ship, feels tight, claustrophobic, and authentic. If you like the Bogman, then I think you're going to enjoy Sea of Madness. Remember, it is low budget, and it's just a group of friends coming together to make a movie. It's a passion project. If you remember that, I think you'll have a good time. Give it a watch when it comes out later this fall. I give Sea of Madness two and a half mermen out of four.